guys, this is Paul the Gamer here. Have you ever wanted to play a game that has thrills, shocks, and fun to play? Well, Lone Survivor is the game for you. Lone Survivor is an indie game made by Jasper Bine. Uh, it, he loved uh, Silent Hill so much that he put some of those aspects into this game. Um, it was it was made before PlayStation 2 came out. It's a really old game, but it's really fun to play. Um, the beta stages were at, like before uh, PlayStation 2, but then when the full game came out, it was pu put on PlayStation 2 and PC, and that was called Lone Survivor's Director's Cut. Um, it kind of died out after that, but then late 2013, it gained popularity again. This kind of phase that we're in is indie, retro, platformer kind of games. Um, it's it's actually really fun. I am making a series on it, and uh, yeah. All right, let's get into these characters. All right, the main protagonist is not named, but the game calls him you. He wears a surgical mask and a flashlight around his neck. He lives in apartment 206, which he tells you it isn't his apartment. He feels alone and constantly tells you he doesn't want to die alone. What a nagger. Good. Fix it yourself, Jesus. On to the girl in the blue dress. Uh, the girl in the blue dress is a girl that's kind of mysterious, and she appears and reappears throughout the story. Um, she has some kind of connection with uh, the main character, Yu. Uh, she is also really creepy, such as this clip will show you. The good idea. Look. What the fuck? Uh. Talk. Crazy witch girl. Fuck you, crazy witch girl. What are you holding? What is that shit? You disgust me. It's all red. Why'd you fucking touch her? What the? She disappeared. Ugh. That's creepy, right? Um, now let's get on to the man that wears the box on his head. Uh, he's kind of, he kind of reappears and kind of appears throughout the story. Um, you, f you visit him when you take the green pill. And, um, he gives you storyline information. And, uh, that's, that's about uh, it with him. Um, now on to the man that wears blue. Uh, the man in blue is a man that wears a blue shirt. You don't really know much about him. Um, you visit him when you take the blue pill, of course. Um, he also gives you ammunition when you visit him. So, if you're shooting a bunch of these weird creep things, you just be like... <laughs> I ran out of bullets, and then you go take the blue pill, and then you get ammunition from him. Uh, you, you, the next one, next character, that you probably won't think is a character, but he's pretty freaking weird. Um, Chuck the Plant. Chuck the Plant, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you is crazy, or uh, I, I don't I have no idea, because you talks to this plant and threatens him with scissors, or you could water him. And, uh, if you threaten him with scissors, you'll probably get a good ending. If you water him, you'll probably get a good ending. And, um, it changes use emotions. It's really weird. Um, that, that's enough with all the characters. That's basically all the characters. Now, let's get on to the summary! Yay! Here's the summary. You're stuck in your apartment building, but for some strange reason, you're not in an apartment. A zombie-like virus has started from unknown reasons. You are running out of supplies, so you must go to the outside world. The only problem is, each floor is covered with these zombie-like things that are getting harder than the last. There are thin men, giant thin men, fat thin men, and exploding thin men. I have no idea why they're called thin men, because they're fat. Um, but oh well, they're, you must escape, kill, live, and find survivors. Also, you have to keep your player's emotions and your player's mind intact. And, uh, yeah, have fun. And this has been the summary. Overall, this game is phenomenal. You should get it. It's on Steam. Just look up Lone Survivor. It's $14.
get it. Um, it's a really fun game, and uh, I don't think you'll regret it. Uh, this has been Paul the Gamer, and I'm out.